you guys, Lori Frederick here with another edition of Rental Car Ergonomics. This week, I have a Toyota Corolla compact car. Um, I'm honestly a little bit surprised um, by the Toyota Corolla. I'm going to first point out what you may have already noticed, <laughs> the headrest. Um, I have taken it out and turned it the other way around um, because it's not awful it does tilt a little forward i'll show you the regular in a minute but i turned it back so honestly if i'm if i'm resting my head um i feel comfortable still looking forward through this okay it feels a little bit reclined but if you notice my ear is over my shoulder in this position so honestly um, i do have a long drive back and i think about using it this way but i'm also going to show you how it was originally all right, so as you can see, the original headrest points forward and it shoves my head forward. So I'm not in love with that. Um, but what I can do as a middle ground, right? So I'm not turning it all the way around, but I put it up higher. So I'm actually, um, I've got the base of it. Um, so I'm a little bit more straight with my head. What's super funny and you can't really tell is like it's hitting the ceiling right now. <laughs> so it looks like I'm a queen on a throne, like driving down here. But you know what? I don't care. This one is more comfortable and it's probably using it as a better safety thing rather than backwards. You can help me be the judge of that. Um, moving on from the headrest, I um, was excited. This wasn't a button, um, but the steering wheel does adjust um, in and out and up and down. So I like that it had both of those. Again, I always pull it forward um, and kind of find a good position because I like to have my shoulders out of my ears. You don't want your shoulders up in your ears and you don't want to be reaching way far out. That'll aggravate your neck and your shoulders. Um, the seat cushioning was great for me. Um, it feels like it does a little bit of this rounding for my shoulders to round forward. So I don't love that. I would really rather have a um, flat chair. Um, but the funny thing, this is uh, not a high-end model. So I've got manual um, seat adjustments here. And the strangest thing that's kind of like this little pump handle pumps it up and then it goes down. I'm like manually doing this just so you know. Um, that's really funny. And then again, it's manual forward and back, but you know what? Overall, I had about a two hour drive, um, each way and I'm feeling pretty comfortable in it. Again, um, that headrest adjustment helps and, um, I feel the elbow rests are kind of in the right spot for me. I'm just going to give this one, shoot, probably, um, I'm just going a three out of five. Granted, it's just that it's um, overall basic. So I'm going three out of five on this one. I don't love it. I don't hate it. Um, I could maybe say it's three and a half stars because it's better than what the uh, Nissan Altima that had the really bad um, ergonomics in it. But this is my official, unofficial ergonomic evaluation of the Toyota Corolla. I will see you on the next one.